You might keep listening to it all day, but... <laughs> the song I was just listening to was Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, The Message. It has really specific memories from my childhood for me because I remember uh, me and my sisters would just go nuts and we would like jump on the bed and like rap. There's something about that era of old school rap too. It's kind of easy for a kid to learn. It's like, you know, broken glass everywhere, you know, like you cut these lines. It, it was more than just music and a song we liked. It was, it was like the family coming together kind of thing, you know. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. I love music from a very young age, so like I guess where other kids might go and spend their pocket money on comic books or things like that, that they, I would go to our price and you know buy a 45 or a single that was my favorite record that week. That experience of having a song that's your favorite song that you listen to over and over again, that that's kind of since I can ever remember, that's been one of my favorite things. It's really impossible for me to imagine in a way what a world would be like without music because music, you know, since the beginning of, of man or since we created the first drum and the first stringed instrument is how we communicate to each other, how we express joy, sadness, how we love each other. So um, it's impossible to think of what any of our childhoods would be like and that's why, you know, no child should have to endure life in an orphanage like without deprived of love and without music and family and those sort of things because that's that's the essence of, of, of I think what, what we need to actually get by. I hope you'll join me in sharing the music from your childhood and supporting End the Silence. I'd love to hear your story. Please share your memory now at endthesilence.com or the link below and donate. Together we can end the silence. <laughs>